Motorhead Garage, presented by NHOU Protective Coatings, coming to you from Borla Commerce Park. Welcome back to Motorhead Garage, presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. You know, you can make all the power in the world, but none of it matters unless you can get it to the ground. And that's where a torque converter is so very important. And Nelson, you are the genius behind Boss Hog Torque Converters. What sets your converters apart from the others out there? Well, our applications guide is probably the biggest and most key important thing when we're having to go through as many as 7,000 plus variations to match just one torque converter to that one particular car. No, you know, wait a minute, because usually you, you call somebody up and you say, okay, what, what's the cam, what engine you run in, and what's the rear end gear, and that's it, and then here's your torque converter. Yeah, well, what if it's in a 1,700-pound car? What if it's in a 6,500-pound truck? All these things matter in how the torque converter is actually going to work, install, and perform in that car. The intake makes a difference, the heads make a difference, the exhaust system makes a difference, how much gear ratio. So really, you need to have all of that information in order to tie this together and, and match the correct stall for you. Not only your car and its application, how you're trying to drive it, but how you want it to drive as well. You also have to be careful in how you select it because if you have a lot of gear ratio, but you have a whole lot of tire, that's not gonna work out either. You're gonna have to pay attention to what you're doing and make sure that the car's gonna operate either on the street or on the racetrack in the manner that you're gonna to wanna to do it without burning stuff up or breaking stuff. So if I've got a hot rod and I just wanna put a little bigger tire on it, how much difference is that gonna make in the gearing? Most ring and pinions are designed off of that 26 inch tall tire. Every inch and a half taller will take out one whole gear set. Oh, wow. I know a lot of guys with 373 gears that have 29 inch tall tires and their run out performance in a one to one ratio is equivalent to a 327 gear. Well, that's not where they want it to be. So they would actually have to go to a 411 to actually see that 373 output that they've been thinking that they actually have. Just looking at your converters, they stand apart. The welds are different than anything I've ever seen in the industry. Tell me why. We go way beyond norms on our welds. We actually have our own micro bulk system, our own mixing in the gas. We have specialty equipment that works for our applications. We're actually doing a military style weld called spray art transfer. This is where we actually heat it up to such a level that literally will increase the deposition rate by six to eight times. Therefore, it gives it a work hardening to the piece and it gives it that much more strength than our competitors. Let's break it down here. Tell me what's going on inside the torque converter. So how we actually get the best torque multiplication, the torque converter uses centrifugal force to actually sling the fluid out towards the outside of these fins right here. Now these fins are differently angled all throughout the entire process. So as this slings outward, it's actually gonna go into the turbine here. So as it goes into the turbine, it's then gonna hit the stator. The stator locks up and applies back pressure. And what you're gonna see is these particular pieces here are set up to actually in a V or a cup. So once you've overcome the stator locking up and the staying still, this would actually begin to turn. That's where your torque multiplication actually starts multiplying and you can actually overcome sitting still and begin to move the car forward. And we could do that very violently or we could do it normally. You get a lot of calls from folks that are just trying to add power and they're tearing their stuff up. Well, that's where our main focus is. You know, a lot of our torque converters may not be the prettiest on the market, but we concentrate on keeping the least amount of rotating mass on the engine. In some cases, we actually have torque converters that weigh 20 pounds less than the competition. That could be as much as 70 horses to the ground. Well, let's see how it all fits together once we throw it in the transmission. Let's call in the boss here. Nora, come on over here. You're seven years old, right? All right, well, she's not just here for show. She actually knows how this all works. She works in the shop, right? Yes, she does, man. She started out as a Hot Rodders of Tomorrow. When she was five years old, she actually rebuilt the Briggs and Stratton engine. This is a top. All right, what's next? A bearing with a stator on it. And this is another bearing. So we use all encased bearings, Torrington style, so it keeps them a lot cleaner. And they're far more durable than your regular needle bearings. There you go. It's on the O-ring and stuff. This is my spring. We also use extreme high temperature O-rings. This is a piston. This is a bottom. 
Excellent, and that is all there is to it. Now you can see the fit and finish. It's a family run company. It has been so for 50 years and you can check out their quality. Check them out at accperformance.com or at bosshogtorqueconverters.com. We will see you in a few minutes here on Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coating. Stay tuned.